welcome to the Vulcan Report. Sorry, just kidding. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is an end of day report for May the 25th, trading on Wednesday, 2016. Uh, the chart you're looking at here is the Dow futures. We had a nice pop surge today. Possible uh, head fake, short squeeze, bull trap in the making. Keep in mind that this is holiday um, trading because Monday is a holiday. So you can expect these holiday reversal type moves to take place. Um, so we broke the downtrend here. And now the real test will be can the Dow close above 18,083 um, by the end of the week? That's going to be the real test, or at least do so um, by the end of next week. Whenever there's a holiday week coming up like this, or holiday weekend, you have to add another week to the market. It just is just the way it is. So we'll look and see what happens here. But we are getting into that overbought area right here. Okay, so eh, we're, we're gonna have to wait and see. Last time we got to the overbought, we had this correction here, where we fell from 18,083 all the way down here to 17,297. So you're looking at like you know seven, eight hundred point correction. Now, if this fails by the end of next week, then you're gonna have more than that. You're gonna have a minimum of a thousand point correction putting us here down up in here crashing below this Kumo cloud like I covered before alright so just keep that in mind as far as uh, what's happening again um, we have um, a low volume still holiday week so you know how that is so we'll have to watch it and, and see what happens but right now overall chart pattern still bullish can't hide that fact uh, short-term support is trading above the long-term support and we're trading above the weekly uh, support of 17297 so all is well in the land right now we'll see if this can continue or not all right the more important chart is this Nikkei now this Nikkei is still in retracement mode off of its support lows here and it looks like we're getting close to that 61.8% uh, retracement <clears throat> excuse me and the trend line is in play at 17.562 we'll round it off and say 17.565 since we trade in uh, fifths or increments of five alright so still has a lot more room to rally here um, we'll wait and see again we have until the end of next week we are getting into overbought last time we were overbought you saw what happened with this incredible correction are we gonna get another 12 13 14 1500 point move who knows but right now it's still in corrective mode still in an uptrend still far away from trend line support and weekly support right now at 15 371 so um, we'll see what can happen here but it, it's uh, it's still impressive nonetheless as we got past the first resistance the purple line here this uh, resistance of 16829 we were able to close above that which is which is strong still but it's overbought it's a weekend reversal thing so you got to be cautious all right looking at the Apple Apple is running 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 after the announcement of injection of a billion dollars uh, by Mr. Buffett and here we are getting close to that trend line resistance the first test of 10106 we still did not break par today we got to 9974 but there's still tomorrow so let's see what happens probably will test it break it can it get back up to the trend line don't know I still suspect even if it does it's gonna fail here and we'll have a you know head and shoulders thing going on here fell felt top boom Still, we're still in the downtrend channel. Just keep that in play. We're still in the downtrend channel. We're still technically pulse waving negative. All right. So I still suspect that these rallies eventually are going to get sold, and we are getting overbought here. Last time we were overbought, you saw what happened. You see from here to here. All things being equal, that'll be because from here 
to down here and that's going to be like 80 70 to 80 bucks call it the way I see it upward resistance right now is at 107.82 for the week all right looking at the uh, US dollar index uh, weekly supported 9203 starting to bump its head against this uh, upward trend line resistance of 9557 and it is struggling we did not close above the trend line there um, and we're flatlining on the tr on the trends here um, the short term and long term trend line resistance have merged together so we're flatlining here we're overbought I suspect we're gonna turn going into uh, maybe even this week or in the next week uh, unless they can push it higher we'll see but right now it's not looking too hot I think it's uh, it's getting getting ready to falter still low 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 volume here okay look at the volume look at the volume look at the volume all right oil is the big surpriser as it's now in well into the Kumo cloud it broke through the uh, down the uh, the bottom of the Kumo cloud right through that air pocket traded right through it and now here we are and it is inside of the Kumo cloud it's it's running it's pushing still didn't get to 50 but it got to 4975 and it's trying to make something happen here we are overbought but it's trying to lock itself in it really is it's trying to do like it did back here we locked in here and then we ran for a couple of weeks here before a minor correction and then taken off again so it's trying to lock in it wants to try to go to that 60 we'll see if we can do it but it is looking uh, rather uh, spent up here weekly reversal we're still in a pulse wave positive scenario from back here all right but we're still in overall downtrend and the short term uh, support is trying to turn up and I want to point out too that even though it's, it's, it looks like it's gonna cross here it's moving rather weakly so I don't know if this is gonna really give it the thrust it needs to catapult it up if anything it's gonna act as a floor for this to break through when we get back up up and around in here somewhere so I don't know I don't think it may I don't think it's gonna see 60 like just a straight shot I think we're gonna correct first in this crude oil and look at Janet yelling go as gold lost its shine is Janet pounding it into the dust is Janet yelling the new bully on the block at the Fed is she pounding the metals these metals keep falling here we are and we're starting to pick up in this volume so it's letting me know that uh, the computer algorithms aren't just at work but there are some other people in here speculating and helping this thing to go lower as well somebody wants this lower why I don't know but they want it lower notice how as soon as the news came out that all these big people and George Soros are buying gold and putting a billion dollars a trillion dollars a zillion for fillion a zillion million a million badilla dollars in there and then it starts crashing even more so you can't always believe the news that you are hearing uh, the big powers that be these big players they're not stupid they're not gonna announce to the world all the moves that they make and if you're going by 10k reports and other kind of um, government uh, reporting uh, things remember those reports are old and they're way behind okay so he might have uh, put a billion dollars in the gold but it didn't it doesn't mean he did it yesterday or last week he could have gotten the gold back down in here and easily taken profit up in here all right so you can't always believe what you are hearing especially in the mainstream media remember they are not your friend okay CNBC and Bloomberg is not your friend they're not their job is not to help you make money their job is to help the people that write their checks make money and to take your money 
All right, an old saying. When you sit down at a professional poker uh, table and you haven't figured out who the patsy is within five minutes, it's because you're the patsy. All right, so just keep that in the back of your mind. It's not looking good for the precious metals as uh, the Fed is pounding into the dust. We are getting into the oversold, so that's some good news for you gold bulls out there. All right, for you gold bugs, uh, you did break this first support line at 1228.10. Uh, looks like the 1191.80 is in play, the secondary support. This is the strongest one. You don't want to see prices break and close below that because then we're in free fall, okay? So right now your upper resistance is at 1306.90. Ouch for the week. That's that's quite a ways away from where you are now. Um, so barring a catastrophic event, it's not just going to shoot up there and, and crack and, and, and gallop. It's going to be a process. It's taking you four weeks to do this. All right, so we are out of the range here of this bar. All right, so that means the rally is over. Look, we've given it back. We're back here now. We're back to the to the the original breakout of the Kumo cloud. All right, still bullish though. All right, still bullish. Oversold though. So if anything, I'm going to say that the elite individuals are getting ready to back up the truck. And they're going to go long this market and cause another bar like this and like this and like this. All right. So keep watching this one. All right. Looking at silver, same scenario. Uh, upward resistance of 1807. We have broken um, this, uh, this support here. All right. Here was 1614 today. We hit 1620. Still is the low for the week. Still, it didn't break the low yet. All right, so it's coming off. It's oversold also. Volume's starting to pick up a little bit. But here we are. Same scenario as the um, as the goal. We're back to the initial breakout of the Kumo cloud right up in here. Uh, if anything, like I said, I think their powers to be are looking to back the truck up and um, really cause these markets to go ballistic and take out these old highs easily. Um so still everything is intact we still got that strong support at 16 even that I was you know telling you about and then we have the 1576 long-term trend line you don't want to see closes below that so we're still bullish we're just correcting right now nothing to be scary about finally look at that NAS crack go can't get enough of that they're ODing on it look at that bar Volume starting to pick up. We are overbought, but extending up here. So we could get uh, another day of moving up. This is the holiday. Uh, this right here, this uh, 45, 84 and a half um, is about 100 points away. So that's what it's gunning for right now. Are we going to see the same scenario as with, like with the Dow? Hard to say. Weak bull right now. All right, the longer term um, support is still below. The, I'm sorry, the longer term support is still below the, the shorter term support, and they're fusing together here a little bit. So that's that's weakening. That's that's weakening. These two supports are still in play. This weekly support of 42.8075 is still out there. It's still in play. Uh, it should act as a strong support for now. Any pullback should be limited to the inside of the Kumo cloud going forward. So we'll have to just wait and see. All right. And is there anything else that I forgot? Let me think. Nope. I think that's about it. Uh, look out for installment number five in our series. There is no collapse. We'll be covering a lot more information in there. It'll probably be the most informative uh, installment of the series. It's going to be packed with a lot of, a lot of information. Uh, please don't hate me afterward. You, you might, though. Uh, the things that we're going to be covering and talking about as we get deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, the hole gets tighter and tighter, not wider. So, fashion your seat belts. Uh, thank you for long suffering with me uh, and, 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 and sitting there and listening to all of it. Um, but hang on to your hats because ladies and gentlemen it's about to become a very bumpy ride I just want to encourage you to stick with it 
start from number one and go all the way to the end and you will not be sorry by the time you're finished if anything you should be extremely well informed and you should be encouraged at the end of it also that's that's my plan that's my hope all right so in the meantime uh, like share and subscribe the links to the website are below this video as well as following me on Twitter all that good stuff and remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered remember to take what you can give nothing back